Hey guys, Killer6 back with another Top 5, and today we're taking a look at the best Easter eggs in a game that is chock full of them. So, let's just get right into it. Number 5, the classic moment from David Fincher's 7, is replicated here by Handsome Jack. What makes this Easter egg that much better is that this box appears randomly in different parts of the dust, and each time you open it, you get a Gwen's head. Oh man, poor Gwen. Number four, in what was probably the most unintentionally hilarious viral video of all time, the double rainbow guy was mind blown by the appearance of a rainbow or two. Here in the Highlands, Handsome Jack recreates the moment as only he could. Number three is the hidden Minecraft Easter egg. Now the first time I saw this, I knew that this game was gonna be amazing. They've replicated creepers, they've replicated the block design. This is just a really cool kind of homage to Minecraft here. And yeah, these guys blow up. Number two, one ring to rule them all. The so-called Lord of the Rings Easter egg has you obtain Geary's unbreakable gear from the fireplace at Claptraps, and then you must journey by foot from there to the Iridium Blight. No cars, no fast travel, and no deaths. If you complete this epic journey though, you will be rewarded by a punch to the face from Geary, who then goes swimming in lava for some reason. I don't really understand that. But uh, yeah, after he punches you in the face and jumps into the lava, like, who doesn't do that? I mean, really? Uh, then uh, after that happens, you get these crazy flying things that don't have faces. Which doesn't seem... That's not normal. But they drop some pretty cool gear for you. Let's check that out. They're teenagers. They're mutants. They're ninjas. And to top it all off, these sons of guns are turtles. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Easter Egg is really, really cleverly done. And if you go further after you fight them, you get into their little lair here. And if you do the right series of events, you get to see their master Flinter, which is pretty cool. Fans of Dark Souls will get this next reference, probably. If you go to the Caustic Caverns and you go back here behind this area where you fight blue and cross over the corrosion of this little island, there is a guy sitting here and his name is Solaire, or in this case, Soltair, because copyright laws and all that. Number one, in a return from an Easter egg from the original Borderlands game, Tannis Rides the Fish returns. And just like in the first game, you have to shoot barrels in a particular order to make her appear. This one is so obscure and weird that I made it my top pick for the best Easter egg in the game. In order to find this for yourself, you need to go to Sawtooth Cauldron. You need to head over here to the back part of the map and uh, make sure you shoot these barrels in the, the correct order. And once you do that, you will get a nice little, not really a cutscene, but like a, uh, I don't know, just something for you to watch. So let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite Easter egg in Borderlands 2 and why? Post in the comments below. And as always, take a moment to click that like button, hit share to tweet this out, and hit subscribe for more top fives. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Hey guys, Mastic is here and you could not have a top five NPCs of beautiful DLC. There's a lot of uh, just a lot of open area that you can go out and explore. Men taking a couple of friends, going and fighting Hyperus, or if you're an assassin, just come in here and bore the hell out of it.